once the center is established, a great many people who have been in isolation apart from their culture, because there's always a tremendous desire to go back to where you came from, to identify with those things that uh, shaped your life. Roberto's life was dedicated to building the beloved community through multiracial unity and community organizing. We had no choice but to either stick together as a growing family or to scatter to the winds. So we decided to make our stand. He believed that poverty, racism, and social inequity could be eradicated if people of all races and backgrounds came together to do so. We knew this building was abandoned, and we knew that sooner or later, our community was gonna need a place, and we decided to call this place our home. Just the sheer volume of programs and the work that's being done here is inconceivable. That's why it's always to honor and remember that legacy that Roberto has set forth and to continue to do the work in his vision. I'm very honored to receive the award, not the least because it is in honor of Roberto and awarded by Estella. I think of this award as a legacy award in his memory, in particular of his commitment to social justice. Roberto Maestas' legacy to me is a commitment to working collectively and fiercely and not stopping until the objective is reached, even when it's hard and even when the way forward is not obvious, and a commitment to working with respect and generosity toward all of the participants in the struggle, regardless of their life experience or the particular path that brought them to this point of common effort. I'm gonna have to work through the night with hope and enthusiasm and love, unconditional love, and we're going to come to, to a new dawn and we're going to begin to heal this beautiful world of ours and its people in it. And the Centro is gonna be a tiny little part of that. They say to, to know where we're going, we must look back and remember where we've been. That's why, you know, El Centro de Rosa is so successful, is because it has a history, a very rich and vibrant history of people that have come together to really be the change that they want to see and to continue to help people into overcoming different struggles and challenges. That's why it's so important that we give back in any capacity that we can. Thank you so much, El Centro, for all of your support for our work and for our recommendations, and thank you so much for the Legacy Award. This is uh, quite a privilege and, and really humbling. Um, I, I thank you. I, I send much uh, gracias and uh, peace. It's obviously a tremendous honor and also very humbling to be recognized by this organization and in Roberto's name. I am so blessed to work in an area which brings me into contact with people with the highest aspirations, the greatest hope, and the deepest commitment to make this world a better place. Many of the people who have been the most helpful and consistent and courageous from the very beginning have been people who come from the field. So our heart and soul is with the people of the land. Wow.